Hi guys, it's Carmela Rose here and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome as well. This week I wanted to do a skin and makeup tutorial of the products that I use on an everyday basis. I really just wanted to cut the bull crap of all the brand deals and ads. Um, which of course that doesn't mean that I don't use those products, but I wanted to show you what I use on more of a personal level. Um, and so yeah, let's get started. I'm literally just gonna record this and like have you guys get ready with me like that's really what's going on here So I would just like to get my hair out of my face because we will be putting a lot on here So <laughs> make sure you do that you can put your hair up tie it back whatever I already did my hair So I'm not gonna be doing that. I'm just gonna put it behind my ears um, And yeah, let's get to it <laughs> I keep saying like, let's get to it, let's get to it. That's like my, I guess that's like my, my line. So awkward. Um, <laughs> so for those of you who follow me um, and also those of you who are new, I have been like on a skin journey for a while. I had like bad acne growing up, like in high school. And then like when I turned 21, it got totally better. Um, I'm 24 now and I don't know what happened like as of like a year ago my skin has just kind of you know I'm getting breakouts again and um, I'm of course like fighting acne and and trying to figure out the best ways to treat it and so I do have pimples I have a ring light on right now so I think it blocks a lot of it out but I want to show you that you know it's normal I'm human you know we're all human it's not something to be ashamed of um, if anything you know just really tell yourself you know I'm fucking beautiful like I got this like it's okay if I have a zit here and there it's all like what's in here I keep that in mind <laughs> okay so after um, you know I wash my face with my cleanser and make sure it's all dry I definitely recommend a serum I found this one on Amazon actually it's hyaluronic acid serum basically just what this does is it collects all the moisture from the air if you have like trouble with dry skin um, I definitely recommend it it's just gonna really bring that moisture into your face this one I swear I don't like quote me on it but I think it's like ten dollars on Amazon any brand that tells you that's like okay it's a hundred dollars for this really you don't need a high-end brand all you need is this so first step we just do I basically do like the whole thing um, definitely put a generous amount on and just mm, it's so nice it's so refreshing it doesn't have a scent to it so that means there's no perfumes um, I really like things like that because my skin's really sensitive and so just it feels really great I definitely feel the moisture just coming in like come on let's go <laughs> so for my next one I always do an eye cream um, this one's salmon bean or vagine <laughs> um, I actually don't know how to pronounce it but it's amazing it's a hydroactive eye cream you just do a little bit underneath your eyes um, to get away like dark circles and just really brighten it feels so moisturized and heavenly I love this one so much. I actually just discovered it through Brandale. <laughs> it was in one of my Ipsy packages and I fell in love with it. Honestly, like I do love Ipsy so much. I find the coolest things from all my glam bags. So for my next one, I like to add my moisturizer. This one I got recommended from a friend. Um, I also can't pronounce it. It's from Korea but I love it so much before I was really dealing with dry skin and then she recommended this to me and so I use this and then I also add a face oil on top of it so I mix them together in one this face oil is by face hero I really really like this one as well I've been using it for about a year now but yeah for those who have a little bit more dry skin I definitely recommend adding an oil to your moisturizer that seems to help a lot for me and so I just wanted to recommend that for you so one thing that was recommended for me to always do every single day, no matter what, even if you're in the sun or not, is add your SPF to your face. This one's by Supergoop. It's a SPF 40. I love the way that it feels. It's water resistant and sweat resistant. Um, it's pretty amazing. I haven't really tried any other one besides this because I'm just so obsessed with it. Oh my gosh, it's like heaven. It feels also like a primer. 
And so you can definitely use this as your primer as well. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> my weirdness came out. All right, so now that we're done with skin prepping, we're gonna move on to foundation. And I actually just recently found this foundation by Hourglass. It's called Vanish. And I really, really, really love Hourglass products because they go on so nicely. It doesn't look like you're too caked on. And my favorite part, they are cruelty free. They do not test on animals. So I definitely, definitely recommend. As I go on through my makeup routine, you'll definitely see their products um, pop up a lot. So, um. The shade that I'm using also is called Warm Ivory. So I'm actually almost out of this and I'm like, what do I do? Like Sephora closed again. <laughs> um, so I have to order online, but I'm gonna use what I can. Basically you just get your brush and I'm just gonna, you know, dab it on the brush and then add it to my skin. You know, they say, beauty isn't easy. It's definitely true, but it's so much fun. Okay, so now that I added my foundation, I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender, and what the Beauty Blender does, it's just gonna make your skin just super refreshing looking. You wanna like make sure to get like up to your hairline as well. You don't wanna make sure you really don't have any lines, and that's what this perfectly does. It's also like a little mini massage to your face. Next we have another Hourglass product. This is, oh, <laughs> beach? <laughs> Son of a beach? It's funny. But I use the shade Vanish. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be adding it to my under eye and then after, if I have any blemishes, I'll put little dots on that as well. But really you just wanna get in here and then again, use your beauty blender to then smooth it in. You really want to get the corner of your beauty blender, this little tip right here, and that's perfect for your eyes. So it fits in the corners and get those creases out. You don't want creases. I'm gonna use the other side now and just kind of blend it all in together. Voila. So after I add my foundation and my concealer, I like to get a little brush and just go around my eyes because I typically always get creases underneath and inside. So I like to get the brush to just kind of make sure that they're gonna go away. And then after, we're gonna be adding translucent powder. And then if you want to, what I like to do is then go over again with your beauty blender. Okay, perfect. All right, you guys, so now that we added our foundation and concealer and made sure it's secure, we are gonna move on to bronzer. This one's one of my favorites. This one is Hoola by Benefit. And I really love them also because they are eco-friendly and they also do not test on animals. I really try to make it a point in my life where all the products that I use, they do not test on animals. And eventually I would love to start using just all eco-friendly products as well. Just unfortunately to my skin, like a lot of skin stuff that I use, um, a lot of that has of course natural remedies in it and it just doesn't work for my skin. My skin's like super sensitive, so I'm working on that. But if you guys know of anything, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to know so much. All right, so I'm gonna get my bronzer brush and just add it to the back of my cheekbones and work my way forward. Never wanna go too far, just really get back here. And then I like to dabble a little bit on my nose as well. It's like, it's summertime, my whole entire body is tan, but of course tanning your face um, gives you wrinkles when you get older, and so I try not to do that. So definitely bronzer is the hidden key to a nice tan face. I also like to add it to my forehead. Just like I said, you know, around like your temples are great, and work your way around hairline, just make sure everything is smoothed in. And then to blend it even more, I do underneath my neck. Do I look like a turtle from this angle? <laughs> turtle or giraffe, let me know. Let me know in the comments below which one. Next I recommend, so either you can end right there and then you start with your translucent powder, or what I like to do to give it like a little more extra 
um, to my face is add a highlighter. What I'm going to be using is Pixie by Petra. So I'm going to add it to my upper lip, to the edges of my nose, and then the rim, and then also my cheekbones. And then I like to add like a little dot on my chin as well. Also, what you can do is go to like the edges of your eyebrows and also put it there. So for the next one, we're going to be adding translucent powder, which I cannot stress enough that it is super important to do, especially after you added your foundation. You really want to set everything on top of your skin because of course, you know, we all have lives, we're all moving around, we're sweating, maybe it's hot, this or that. You really want to make sure that your foundation stays on and so translucent powder is super, super important. Um, I use Hourglass, here it is again. It's coming back. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get my little brush. I, I like to use a tiny one because I really try and focus around my eyes, but um, you can use any kind of like soft brush to really get in the areas that is needed on your skin. So anywhere that really creates a lot of shine, that's where you wanna add it. Okay, so moving on to eyes. I'm gonna just do something that's really natural, what I do every day. I don't really like to put on a lot on my eyes. Really, it's just curling my lashes and then adding mascara, and that's it. Um, I don't really put on any eyeshadow unless maybe I'm going to like a brunch and I wanted to add a little bit more. At nighttime, if I'm gonna be going out, I do like to add eyeliner. But for this video, I'm just gonna be doing stuff that I do every day on a normal basis. I like to go over it twice because I like my eyelashes super long and sometimes I feel like when you curl them the first time they don't, you miss a couple hairs. So I always go over each eye twice. So of course the mascara that I use is Hourglass. This one is called Unlocked. It's brand new, just came out. I actually got a little goodie package of it um, but I've been using Hourglass mascara for like a year now and I'm obsessed with it. I personally like when my mascara is a lot more thinner um, because I do have really long eyelashes and so I like each individual lash to stick out instead of it tending to be more thick, but it's all for your preference. I know everybody's different. Like my roommate the other day told me she likes when her eyelashes are thicker. So, you know, this might not be for everyone, but it's for me. So now moving on to eyebrows, I'm gonna be using my Precisely My Brow. I absolutely love this one too. It gives a nice, it has a nice like thin tip to be able to fill in like these little tiny areas of your eyebrow that need more hair typically. Um, and then I love how on the end it has a little brush and so I just love to like fluff up the edges first. Then we're just gonna fill in a tiny bit, as much as you need but I like to do it really lightly um, to give it a lot more natural look. So after I'm done filling in my brows, I love to use like a gel. I usually use Hourglass or lately I've been using Eyebrow Queen. This one does have a little bit of color to it than just a normal translucent gel. Um, it has a little bit of brown and so if you don't wanna add you know, if you don't want to be adding a pencil and you just have amazing eyebrows, lucky you. Um, <laughs> but if you just want to add just a gel to really fluff them up, but also have a little bit of color, I definitely recommend Eyebrow Clean. So what I'm going to do is just go a little bit on the edges because I like to have nice and fluffy brows. And this one, just make sure that they stand up all day long. We gotta, you know, we gotta fluff it up, not fuck it up. <laughs> Sorry for anybody, any brands who are watching this. All right, you guys, we're almost done. Last but not least, I'm gonna be adding my lips. I have used this for so long. I'm obsessed with this color to use every single day. It's Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. This color is just really nice to put on throughout the day because it's still like the sh same shade of my lips but it just gives it an extra more like pink to it. So just a little bit extra to be like that no makeup makeup look. Mm. It goes on so smooth, it smells great, and it looks extremely natural. It's not too much. I love it, I'm obsessed with it. 
And last but not least, your setting spray. This one is by Hourglass as well. I love just to have a nice refresh and again, set everything. All right, you guys, I am done. I hope you guys enjoyed that facial and makeup tutorial of what I use on my everyday life. If you guys have any questions or comments, please do so on the comments below. And seriously, thank you guys so much for your love. I am so happy to be like creating this channel and I look forward to so many more videos. So if you guys want to follow along, please make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao. Hello everyone, my name is Kaya. Please like and subscribe to Carmela's channel. Okay, bye. <laughs>